What is this? What's in here? It doesn't pop. What is it? A battery? That's a clue, huh? My first ever decent camera, I guess. And there we are. Let's go film a Welsh castle. There was no way around it. My first professional camera, I have to show you some part of Wales that I love. And Castell the Wyddoan, Castell means castle, is the place that I want to do that in. So I went up Duffer and Conway. Castell the Wyddoan encapsulates so many different parts of what formed the Welsh nation in ways that I love. It is situated on an old Roman road, which runs through it, and it's like the centerpiece of this beautiful set. It's perfect. It was the middle of the day, the trains only run at certain times, but I did my best. I want to show you this. There's two ways to approach it. You can climb up from Dovidalan, or you can go all the way to Pontrevenig and then come back, and then you get this. Beautiful view. Look at this. And that's what I did, and I followed this road. And then you come over that last little bit of the hill, and then it slopes down toward Dovidelum. Right there. Let's go. off after the roman empire fell the welsh took over their own country and used the roads that the romans had built and put castles eventually earlier just wooden fortresses then stone and then more permanent fortifications to control the network of internal transportation that the romans left behind to facilitate movement around their kingdom because if you controlled this road well, you controlled most of Eastern Gwynedd, the kingdom. It's a good place. When I was getting into Welsh, this is one of the locations that I, I kind of romanticized in a way about the dynasty of Llewellyn the Great resisting English invasion into their country. And I thought, this is... This is epic. Look at this. Why has there not been films made celebrating this dynasty of, well, kings? They called themselves princes, but they were kings. Where are the films about these people? The reason why I've brought you to this spot where there's flowing water just below the castell is because I want you to get into your mind that Welsh castles are completely different from English castles in Wales. Welsh castles were built to allow flow through the land, to promote business and administration and governance, movement through the land. English castles in Wales are built in quite harsh locations into, in terms of trying to stop movement. But Welsh castles are more like conduits of water. I love that a road runs through this and it just exemplifies that Welsh castles are about flow, flowing through the land to govern it, to defend it. And this outcrop here, this tower raised above it, and that steep drop on the other side, that exemplifies that positioning. They knew exactly where they were positioning it because they knew their own country so well. Down below you have Dufferin Conway, which was navigable seven miles inland from the sea. And then running up the other side, up the hill, you control all of Eriri, the mountainous region, through this castle. 
and access on the different flanks which they would attack. And they had wandering courts. Kilchlis either. Kilchdaith, journey circles. And they would administer in each castle. And this was one of those castles that they did that in. There's records of that. Llewellyn the Great was born probably not in this castle itself, but down there in those trees. That's called Tom and Amir. One thing that makes this castle very important is that Llewellyn the Great, who reconquered or liberated much of Wales in the early 13th century, was born just down there in the Dufferin, where the original, possibly, castle was. And it certainly was re-strengthened and built here. And there's a lot for him to do with this castle. And that's a key point in Welsh history. Llewellyn the Great, who was officially Prince of Wales. I just wanted to show you what's so special about this area. It's at the summit of this immense long Dufferin or steep valley. And it's a gateway, a, a doorway into the mountains and able to reach the other side in a day's ride by horse. That's fantastic. The cast actually is locked. Well, that's a shame that the castle was like locked because I've had the ability to actually come here. It's positioned here in a, in a way that fits into the land. It's, it's aesthetic is well thought out even centuries later. The land's obviously changed and you have these planted tree farms yonder on the other side. It's still beautiful because you have these sloped angled rocks like blades on either side of the road. They positioned this almost like in a painting. I love this place. This is Castell though with Allah. I wanted to show you that. The layers of stone come from different ages within the Welsh princes themselves and after them. It's a metaphor for Wales and that there's so many layers to it. It's a small country, but it's more dense and held with treasures than an onion. I like that it represents such a thick kind of Welshness that it defies both what people think of Wales from the English side and what people think of Wales from the Welsh side. This was not some kind of castle built for some struggle for justice, no. Llewellyn hid his treasures in this castle. This was an aristocratic warrior class fighting to control its country through a systematic hierarchy. And for those that come into Wales thinking that all we have in our culture are male voice choirs and a few farmers, I mean, come on. This is encapsulating centuries of evolution over the nation from the Romans who built this beautiful road through it to the castle being in the Dufferin where the cattle were moving up, realizing they had to defend it against invaders, building it rebuilding it. There was a chain gate here that rose up. This was a massive structure at one point in history. And it shows how deep Welsh history is. To have put this here this far up in the mountains is an effort 
This is no small task. This took a seriously contending kingdom to stamp this here, this far up away from the lowlands and say, we control this. This is Wales. Hey, I appreciate you watching. Diolch next time.